This is 2006 Flechas de los Andes Gran Corte from Mendoza. Now, we offered the Flecha de los Andes Malbec to uh, really great response. It's terrific wine. This is their top of the line wine, and it's a blend of 57% Malbec, 35% Syrah, and 8% Merlot. Um, this wine, of course, made by Baron Rothschild, the, uh, of the famous uh, Bordeaux Rothschilds. They, um, of course, know their Bordeaux varietals and have gone to South America and planted Malbec, which is, of course, originally Bordeaux varietal, and have done great things with it. Um, here we've got some Syrah in the blend, which um, really seems to give this wine some, some extra body and some, a little bit more spice. I actually opened this wine yesterday to give it that much time to breathe. I just put the cork back in and let it settle because this is such a, a, an intensely dense and tightly wound wine that needed that time to open up. And it's opening up nicely. Got some wonderful black plum on the nose. I'm even getting a note of like uh, black truffle to go with that. <laughs> really nice. Some earthy notes. And I got a little sweet uh, like cassis note also following that. Some little white pepper maybe. Nose is very complex. I'm just going to sit here and smell this, I think. <laughs> okay, let's taste it. starting to unfold on the palate. Still a really, really dense, mouth-filling wine. Um, but I'm getting some sort of lush character that's, that's opening up, sort of filling sides of my mouth. I get a lot of that black plum. I get some of that perfumey, sort of truffly notes. But then I'm getting some um, licorice notes, some dark chocolate notes and some spicy notes, something that little sort of adds a little spice, a little pepper on the finish. Um, the finish is still going. Be more of that plum on the finish too. This is quite an intense wine. Um, enjoy it now, but let it breathe a long time. Um, probably if you open it and decant it, you could let it sit for a couple few hours and it'd be just ideal. But also take some bottles and lay them down because this wine in five to eight years is really going to be quite a blockbuster, I think. Enjoy. <laughs>